and set these bubble blasts off in the boys' toilet. Now, let's do Filch's office. I like the way you think, brother. You two look like you're up to no good. What's in the box? What box? I don't see no box. Clearly, I mean the box right there. What? This? This ain't no box. It's a, a collection of explosive accessories. Dangerous delights. In other words, none of your business. Ah, well, it sounds like Filch is coming. So, unless you and your not box want detention, you may want to scram. Oh, I got a better idea. Why don't you explain to Filch what you're doing with these? Later, loser. What a pair of gits. Filch is in the Prefect's bathroom cleaning up after Peeves. Again. Now, what are these things? I think Fisher called them a... Bombtastic bomb box. Oops. I don't want to be late for charms. Better take these with me. I'll turn them in after class. What are you doing here? You told us Filch was coming, but he was nowhere near, was he? That means you tricked us, and we don't like to be tricked, do we, brother? We do not. Fantastic bomb! Spiders! Those two are infuriating. But these bombastic bomb boxes are fun. I should probably get rid of these. I wouldn't want Filch to think they're mine. <laughs> What is that you're hiding? A box of boomtastic bubble blasts? Please, it's just a misunderstanding. These aren't mine. Ah, I've heard that one before, haven't I? Now hand them over. What happened? Let's just say I've run into some rather explosive troubles with the caretaker. Filch? Yeah, he's got it in for me too. He's convinced I was pilfering potions ingredients from the storeroom, which I definitely was not. Ah, such delightful drama. Stay cool and composed and all problems will be solved. A great wizard keeps their calm. Even in the most dire of circumstances. Oh, uh, if you've got any suggestions, I'm listening. <clears throat> Very well. Allow me to tell you about a duel that took place in the Ministry of Magic not so long ago. 
I didn't witness it myself, of course, but I have friends hung in the Ministry who say it was most epic. I heard that other than spells, Quidditch is also quite fun, but my personal favorite is potions. Quidditch? Is that that sport where you get to ride a broomstick and fly around? That's the one. You'll want to talk to Robin if you're interested. Heard she's recruiting flying bodies in the Great Hall. Freedom! Soaring higher and higher! I can't wait! Robin? Are you alright? You're muttering to yourself. Was I? Sorry. I'm just excited about flying lessons. You must be too! Actually, I don't know much about flying on broomsticks. At all. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get you started right now! We go on our little adventure near the castle gate ahead.
hold out your hand and call to your broom. Up! Now, climb on, and when you're ready, push off the ground. Like this! See? Easy, right? Come on, follow me! If you're ever feeling scared, it'll help. I think I heard something over there. The other one was Kevin, so... I didn't think I'd enjoy flying so much. Thanks, Robin. You're a great teacher. My pleasure. Wanna go again? My pleasure. Wanna go again? I see. Well, what a view from here, eh? I wish I had a camera to capture the moment. Hello, I'm glad you're here. I could use your help watering a few plants. Um, sure. Do you have a watering can? No need. Just use the Aguamenti charm. I know it's a bit advanced, but Professor Flitwick mentioned he was going to introduce it earlier this year. Here's your chance to practice. All right, I'll give it a go. Offer him a treat or two as a peace offering before he decides to gouge out your eyes. Ah. There's some bow truck will feed me those old flower pots that Hagrid dropped off earlier. Careful though, I found a few gnomes hiding in the pots. I got most of them, but there might be a few left. Let's see. Uh, here's the feed. And also a gnome. Come here, you. Atmosphere charm. Incendio. Orb of water. Troll. Superfire. Oh, 
commenting. I'm sorry about the water. Here's a treat for you. That was quite a big treat. I think you made a friend for life. But do try to be more careful. You never know what might be lurking under the next leaf. Wow, huh? Uh -huh. From embarrassment, I'm going to give you a little guidance. Listen carefully, because I'm only going to say this once. a lot better than I expected. I'm impressed.
spent, but somehow I can't fall asleep. I heard that Ivy is still missing. Where could she be? I can't wait anymore. The more people looking for her, the more hope she'll have of being found. I didn't know the castle was so dark at night. Who's there? Hey, watch where you point that thing. Oh, Robin, are you looking for Ivy as well? Right, same as you. Lottie sent me a note by Owl. Come on, we're meeting in the library. Everyone is waiting. Everyone? Is this everyone? Kevin? Why are you the only one here? Where's Daniel? Uh... He's over there, by the bookshelf. On the first night? Are you mad? If <gasps> trying to learn things at school is mad, then I suppose I am. <clears throat> well, uh, is everybody ready to look for Ivy? She hasn't returned to the dorm yet, so she must still be lost somewhere in the castle. I'm not sure. Is it safe? Absolutely not. Don't listen to him. It's perfectly safe. I don't want detention. Just leave me out of it. What about you, Kevin? Are you with us? We could definitely use someone as clever as you to help find Ivy. Oh, oh, thanks for the compliment. I think. I suppose I could give it a go. <laughs> Obviously. Hey, what's that over there? Watch out! Sendio. Troll. Fantastic bomb! Ventus! Atmosphere charm! Incendio! Stupefy! Expulsor! Orb of water. I can see how Ivy managed to get lost. These corridors seem to go on forever. We need to be careful, or we'll get lost too. Put out that light! Wizards are trying to sleep. Excuse me, but did you happen to see a first-year student come through here tonight? <laughs> Not until this very moment, but the next time Mr. Filch wanders by, I'll tell him I saw three. Found them! Found them, I did! The three lost thirsties are lost no more, <gasps> now that i found them on the fifth floor! Shut up! Hang on! 
agree. Only supposed to be one lost, little thirsty. We are not lost. We're looking for Ivy. Ho oh, ho ho! Your heroes! Very gallant! Shall we test your metal? Fantastic bomb! I won't let you fight alone. I'll patch you up. Vintage! Explosive! Send you. Stupid bomb! Fantastic bomb! Ventus! Explosive! Cindio! Stupefy! Atmosphere charm! Also, keep going. You've got this. Where are we? Where's Kevin? Great. Now he's gone and got himself lost. Just like oh. you are. Daniel, what are you doing here? Making sure you don't lose us any house points. Now let's go before we get caught. What about Ivy? You can look for her on the way back. Let's go! Wait, did you hear that? I think someone's coming. Although it's such a mess, there was a sign on the door that said, keep out. And you ignored it? Are you trying to get us killed? Relax, Daniel. I'm sure there's nothing dangerous in here. <coughs> oh, then what do you call that? <coughs> what is it? I can't see. I can fix that. And it doesn't look very happy about it. Sorry. I'm really looking forward to it looks like I can do it with my eyes closed. Incendio! Fantastic bomb. Expulsive. Stupefy. Ventus. Incendio. Where 
Where's Robin? Run off, of course. She's going to get caught, I'm sure of it. It's very easy to get lost in here. Come on, let's try this way. Ugh, well, at least we're getting to see some of the castle's more unique tapestries. Trolls learning ballet. Very strange. Hush up, will you? I'm trying to think. Why are you pacing back and forth? It helps me think. The lost girl is not gonna magically appear just because... Was that door there before? No. What do you think is in there? Only one way to find out. Ivy? Oh my! Daniel? I don't believe it. Ivy, we've been looking everywhere for you. Really? Thank you so much! I so badly wanted to be found. Weird place. Why'd you come here, Ivy? I don't know. I think I was looking for something. All I remember is lots of hallways and stairs and then... I can't be sure, but... I think someone was following me. Following you? Did you see who it was? No. But it felt like someone was always just behind me, looking over my shoulder. I'm probably just being silly. My Nana says I'm like that sometimes. Whatever happened, we can figure that out later. Right now, we should get back before we run into any more trouble. Come on, Ivy. If we can avoid Mr. Filch and Peeves, we should avoid getting detention. Is this your trunk? That's not mine. It must have been here when I came in. There are initials on it. WW. Definitely not mine. Leave it then. Let's go. Done. Your performance thus far has been excellent. I must say you've exceeded my expectations. Thank you, Professor. However, that does not mean you should become complacent. Your education is only just beginning. To truly succeed at Hogwarts, you must be willing to challenge yourself. I'll do my best, Professor. Hi, Robin. Is something wrong? Everything is wrong! In fact, I can't imagine anything will be right again! And it's all my fault! What happened? I can't tell you. It's too awful! Come on, Robin. It can't be that bad. Oh, yes it can! It's terrible! Horrible, even. But if you must know, I... I... I miss the bloody bludger! I miss the bludger, which then hit our chaser, causing them to drop the quaffle instead of scoring the goal that would have given us a 150 point lead. I'm sorry, Robin, but 140 points is still a big lead, isn't it? Sure, as long as the opposing seeker doesn't catch the snitch, because your teammate tried to cut across the pitch to help and instead knocked your own seeker off course, thus giving the opponent a 10 point victory. All because I missed the bloody bludger. Oh, that is rough. But it's not your fault. How is it not my fault? 
Well, it's not entirely your fault. I mean, it's a team sport, right? Yes! And my team hates me! I'll never be happy again! My life is ruined! That's why I came to Hagrid's! I thought maybe he could feed me to a blast-ended screwed. I deserve it! Oh, don't be so dramatic. I'm sure Hagrid will have something to cheer you up. Come on, let's go. Hagrid? You look almost as miserable as me. Oh, it's them ready gnomes. Been burrowing under the garden, chewing on the roots and putting holes in the pumpkins. Can't even tell till the damage is done. Those little terrors. That's not how you carve a pumpkin. Is there anything we can do to help? Yeah. I used to clear out the gnomes in our garden at home all the time. In fact, I bet it's a lot like taking out your frustrations on a bludger. Might be good practice. All right, then. I'll leave you to it. And just remember, they're more troublesome than they look. took care of them gnomes in no time at all. Well done. Oh, it was nothing, Hagrid. Yeah, we're just happy to help. I appreciate it. Oh, wait, you were coming to see me, weren't you? Did you say something about feeling miserable? I was feeling a bit down. But it turns out, taking on a horde of gnomes was exactly what I needed. I should be thanking you. Oh, well... You're welcome, I suppose. And if they ever come back, let us know. I can always use the practice. <laughs> <laughs> 